Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a confession to make. We've been at home for 18 months. I cracked and I bought the Oculus Quest 2 last December. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I love this thing. It's amazing. If you haven't used VR, I would highly recommend one of these things. They're pretty fun. But I've learned how to do something super nerdy with one of these that I thought I needed to share with you guys in case you wanna get into this kind of action as well. Not that kind of action, you sickos. I've learned how to have virtual naps. Oh yeah, and they're amazing. I stumbled across it with virtual desktop. Virtual desktop allows you to have different environments so you can sit in a spaceship, movie theater, your office, whatever you want. It's pretty relaxing. And one of the things I discovered pretty quick was that you can run YouTube from there. Once I did that, I paired it up with my headphones. All of a sudden I realized you can watch those walk videos where they're going through different parks in 4K with the rain falling. Oh man, it'll put you to sleep in minutes. But it got me thinking, how does that audio get created? I shoot a lot of video outside. My video never sounds that nice. It sounds kind of just normal. I use the microphones on the cameras. I have a shotgun mic on one of my cameras. And I thought, hmm, how does that get done? So I decided to do a little bit of research. Not Facebook like vaccine research, but research. And I stumbled across a guy online. The gentleman's name is Jake Sloan. Jake Sloan has a YouTube channel and Jake Sloan decided he could build a binaural audio microphone. I'd never heard of binaural audio, so I was intrigued. What was it? How did it work? Binaural audio is basically microphones that are set up in the structure of your head. So it's a, a box of some kind with silicone ears, two microphones that mimic where your ear placement is, and it can record sound from either side. So as you're outside or out and about, it captures sound a lot more realistically than one microphone aimed in one direction. The neat thing was binaural microphones are sold but they're super expensive. Uh, so I instantly went and did a, where can I buy a binaural microphone online? And I found them, but they're like six, $800 and more. And uh, this gentleman, Jake, decided he was gonna make one for less than a hundred bucks. So I was intrigued. So what we have in front of us here right now is uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of construction here. So we're gonna build one of these binaural microphones. And I thought I'd kind of lay out the different parts here so you can see what we actually purchased. So. Uh, first things first, this is a project box. This box, I can just measure it here, is about six inches long. It's about three inches tall. And it's about two and a half inches deep. So this box has four screws you can unscrew. And we're going to put all of our equipment inside the box. We're going to drill some holes in, on either side for the actual ears themselves. Um, and then we're going to attach everything together. So the next thing we got here was we needed a good quality microphone to make uh, this work. So we need two of them, of course, one for each ear. So these are two lavalier microphones. They're fairly inexpensive. I'm gonna list all the parts down below in the video, and I'll also list the cost of the parts so you guys have an idea. But I think all in all, this whole setup was around, uh, don't quote me, but give or take about a hundred bucks. Uh, I live in Canada. A few of the items were a little more expensive to get here. so. Um, Here's the two lavalier microphones that we're gonna use. Here are the two silicone ears. Um, I originally ordered two right ears and <laughs> not a left ear. Uh, I wasn't thinking when I placed the order, I just thought I needed two ears, but obviously they're different. So you need a left and a right ear. Um, stupid mistake on my part, but, and these were kind of expensive, like they weren't tremendously expensive, but enough that I went, oh, that sucks. So uh, these are the two ears that we got. Uh, I ordered two cold shoe mounts. So this is what we can actually screw to the bottom of this box. And we're going to attach it to the actual camera itself. Uh, or whatever the uh, holder or mount or whatever it's going to be. Um, I made a mistake and ordered two. But I'm actually happy I did that. Because I can use both of them now. Um, in the actual build. So I've got two of these cold shoe mounts. And then we have some cables and wires that we needed. So um, I'll start with those. This right here is a breakout. It's basically kind of a splitter. Uh, I'm just gonna open it so you guys can see. It's a 3.5 millimeter TRS to dual 3.5 millimeter TSF. Um, 
I'll obviously link to the parts so that it makes it easier for you guys. I haven't opened this yet, so we're gonna try and do that here. So you can get it open here. All right, so we can do this. Here we go. I'm gonna rip open the package here. Not successfully here. There we go. So then I can actually show you what it looks like a little bit closer. Get rid of the packaging. So this is what it looks like right here. There's a uh, a left and a right. So this will be where your two um, lavalier microphones plug into. And then this cord will plug into an additional cord we got. Um, one with a female end, one with a female end, one with a male end. And this will allow us to extend this out to the camera. So you're going to plug this right in here. You're going to plug the two lavalier microphones into here, into these two. And then this piece right here, this plug will plug into your SLR or whatever camera um, you have for audio or whatever audio device you're going to connect into. So there's lots of different options in how you do that. Um, the only other thing that we purchased here was, we didn't even purchase it. I had a little piece of sandpaper. We're going to rough up the plastic um, so that we can apply a glue, which is this glue right here. This is Silpoxy. Um, from what I understand, there's not a lot of glues that work well with silicone ears and plastic or silicone and plastic, Silpoxy does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rough up the side of this plastic case with the sandpaper, give it something to stick to, and we're gonna use this Silpoxy and stick the ears to that. Last but not least, you're gonna need a couple of tools. You'll need a 5 16th drill bit. That's gonna be used for your ear holes. It's also gonna be used for the holes in the case so that you can push the actual um, lavalier microphones through them. And you're going to need, need a quarter inch drill bit. Um, that's what you're going to use for the hot shoe or the cold shoe adapter at the bottom. Um, you're going to put a hole there so you can do that. So without further ado, let's get started. I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the ears on here. Based on the video that I saw for this, uh, we're going to try and put the ears on here. I was trying to figure out the best positioning for this case um, on the adapter that I want to use. Because I want to try and connect this um, to something... Uh, for a camera so that I can have camera and audio together, which would be nice. Uh, if I put it right in the middle, I can connect it easily to an SLR camera right on the top. Um, but I actually have a couple of different ideas for this. So I'm going to put two of these cold shoe adapters on. I'm going to put one on the one side and I'm going to put one right straight in the middle. So we're going to drill the holes for that. We're going to do the ears and uh, we'll get started here. So I'm going to take the faceplate off the actual box itself. I have a screwdriver here just to take out the screws. We'll take those out so we can take that off. That way we can get all the wires in here in the next few minutes. And I've got to make sure that it's off so that when I glue the ears on, I don't cover off the seam with the ears and make it hard to do stuff later. So we'll take the screws out here, four of them. So in case you want to see the box, that's it right there. That's about the size of it. Hopefully you can see it a little bit there. Here, give you a bit of an idea. So it's still in there a little bit. Take this out. All right, so there we go. We open that up. I did put a weather stripping in here a few minutes ago. It was easy. I just stretched it around the inside. They have a little groove here. Uh, that'll help keep water and moisture out of this box. Um, planning on using this when it does rain, so hopefully uh, I can keep it dry that way. So I'll just set the lid off to the side for now. So this is the box here itself. Now we need to actually put the holes in it for the ears. Uh, I want to put the ears up a little bit higher on the box. So we're going to go ahead. First things first, I think what we'll do is we'll actually put the holes in the ears themselves. So what you want to do is get it in the deepest part of the ear. If you look at the ears themselves, there's, um, you can actually see the canal right here. So I'm going to drill right through there. Just a nice, easy drill bit, push it through. So I'm going to get my drill out here, get my 5 16th bit, put it in there. There we go. And we're going to carefully drill the hole in here. Oh. 
There we go. So we're putting the hole in the actual ear here. We're attempting. There we go. Right through. Perfect. All right, so that's through. And we're gonna wanna do that for the other side as well. So I just open it up a little bit here. I'll peel a little bit of this away. And you want this to be a fairly snug fit for the actual microphone because you don't want it to slide out very easily. So we're gonna do the other one here. I have to apply a little bit of pressure, not too much. There we go. There we go. So we got two holes in the ears here. So that's a good start. I'm gonna put my finger in here for a second and see. There we go. I'm just picking off a little bit of that extra little bit of silicone here. There we go. So there we go. So we've done that piece right there. And now what we're going to do want to do is decide where on the box here we want to put the actual ears themselves. So we've got your, your right and left ear. I want them up pretty high on the box, I think. So what I'm going to do is just mark the spot where I want to do that. I'm going to use a drill bit here. Scratch up the surface here a little bit so I can see if that works there. Yep, got a good scratch there so I can drill a hole right in the side of the box here. So we're going to try and do that here. There we go. Well, that was painfully hard. All right, got that one done. Wouldn't say that was the easiest process. Wipe some of the stuff off here. Plastic bits everywhere. Okay, so now we can take a look at how that would look. So I'll be able to put the ear right here. Just like that, there we go. Okay, so we got one side done here, and now we just got to do the other one. There we go. A little bit of an exercise in patience, that is. There we go. So I got two holes in here. Roughly the same spot. I might be off just a touch, but I'm not too fuss on it. All right. So I've got two holes drilled here. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to rough up the plastic here. So this is where you use your sandpaper. I'll rough up each side. Give some of that silpoxy to stick to. A little more right here. Okay, there we go. Beauty. All right, so now we're gonna glue the ears on. All right, so now that we got our ears drilled, and we have the box also drilled out here. A little hard to see, maybe. It's a bit dark. Now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and we've sanded it down. We're gonna go ahead and apply the glue and stick the ears to the box itself here. So the way I wanna do it is this'll be the right side. This'll be the left. Where's our silpoxy? Never used silpoxy before. Okay. So we have our silpoxy here. We're going to apply some to the ear, the outside of the ear here. Don't know how much you actually need. I've never used it before. I'm hoping a little goes a long way, but we'll see. Give it a liberal amount here just in case it needs a fair amount. I'm not sure. Like I said, I've never used it before. So we're gonna start with the left one here. Line up the hole with the box itself. Oh, it's sliding around a little bit and make sure it's lined up here then. There it is there. All right, so it's lined up. I'll wipe a little of the extra off the side here. Let's see if I can clean it up a touch before it gets too 
Shoot, I moved it. Stuff looks sticky. Might be one of those situations where less is more, but we'll let you know here in a minute. Hope it's not like super glue and I get it all over everything. That's what I always do. Okay, so we gotta let that sit for a few minutes. So we're just gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes here. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes and we've got one ear that is uh, fairly dry. I'm not gonna pull on it or anything like that yet, but it's on pretty good. It seems like it is anyways. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the second one here. So uh, same thing, we're gonna apply the Silpoxy. We're gonna stick it on and we're gonna let it wait for 10 minutes. So grab the glue here again. I think I'll use a little less of the glue. I sort of spilled out from the edges last time, so I'll see if I can do this without making quite such a mess, but although maybe that's what made it stick good, I'm not really sure. All right, let's try this. All right, I feel like I got just as much on here this time, so not really sure how that's going to work out, but the lid on this thing. All right, let's line up this hole. See, we can do that here before I stick it right on there. There we go. Seems pretty lined up. Okay, hold it on for a second. Sliding. That seems pretty good right there. Right there. All right, so we're back. It's been about uh, another 10 minutes, and now we have both ears here. I'll show you right now, glued on. Let's see if I can make it focus on the ears. There we go. Both ears are glued on. They seem pretty solid. I'm not gonna yank on them yet or anything like that. I don't know if I'll ever yank on the ears, but they're on there pretty good. And I think what we're gonna do next is we're going to put the uh, quarter inch uh, cold shoe adapters in so my plan was to do two. I want to put one right in the middle of this thing um, And then I want to put one closer to the right hand side because I have a mount for a smaller camera that I could put over here on the right um, And that would work out pretty good. So I think I'm gonna put two of them in so I'm gonna get a quarter inch drill bit right here I'm gonna get my drill back again And I'm gonna make another mess with the plastic I think this time I'll do it on top of something so I can just move it out of the way after. So, quarter inch drill bit. There we go. Just about took my finger out. There we go. So there's that one. So let's just make sure everything fits first. I'm just going to wipe this off. It's all those bits of plastic. Okay, so here's my quarter inch. Yeah, it's going to fit just nicely in there. Okay, so that's good news. Perfect. Okay, so that's what we wanted. So the other one I want further over to the right here. And I want it probably about... Probably about there is my guess. So now we have drilled two holes in the bottom here. A little hard to see because it's... I don't know if we can shine a light on it here. There we go. Two holes in the bottom for our adapters. And we're going to screw those in now. So let's get them out here. Here's one. That's what they look like right here. And there's one. There's the other one here. Just a cold shoe adapter. So I'm just going to put them in. Simply here. So I'll start with the middle one. Just gonna slide it in there. Actually, I think I can just turn it into place. There we go, just tighten it in here. So it's in good. Seems like it's in there pretty good. We wanna keep it straight. And we'll put this little piece on right here. There we 
right here. Let's tighten it on. It's inside here. There we go. So we'll tighten that one. We'll tighten this one. That feels pretty good to me. Looks nice and straight. Let's just test it up against a hot shoe mount here, a cold shoe mount here, and see how it fits on. There we go. So that seems pretty good. Moving a little bit, actually. So we just want to slide it on there and then tighten this up a little so it's snug. There we go. Seems pretty solid. There we go. So there's one. So this is one on a mount. Seems pretty good. Seems solid. And we're going to do the second one here as well. I think we're good. Okay, so I have one hot shoe adapter or cold shoe adapter. I have one cold shoe adapter drilled or in. I have another one with a hole here, so I'm going to put this one in. You guys can see it here. Same thing as the last one. I think I'll take this and just screw it in. There we go. Let's get this all the way in there. Just test it with a cold shoe here, see if it fits okay. Well, maybe that'll be fine. Just the washer on top. Oh, I did it just perfect and just enough room, surprisingly. Let's see here. Just enough room on the inside here for it. Probably get a locking nut for these as well at some point. That should help out. All right. Tighten that in. There we go. I think that'll work just fine there. All right. So we got those in now. 
Now we still have to drill one more hole for the cable to come out of. So I've kind of connected everything here so you can see it. I've got the splitter cable here for the lavalier microphones, and I've connected it to the smaller cable that's gonna come out to the actual camera itself. So just like that. Um, and what I need to do is I need to drill a hole in the case so I can run this cable through. So I'm gonna bring the 5 16th bit out again, and I'm gonna drill a hole on the left-hand side. That's typically where they are for cameras, is the left-hand side. And we're just gonna drill another hole right here. Make it a bit bigger here. See if that helps. All right, let's see if this fits now. Yeah, we got it now. So there we go. All right, we got a clean workspace here. So here's our audio cable, cable here. And you can probably put a little silicone glue in here in the bottom if you want to. Let me just show you what the bottom looks like here right now. So here, I'll show you. So what do we have here? We have the audio cable that's running through. It'll be inside the box here, like that. There we go. Ears, and then we have our adapters here as well. All right, let's keep going here. Okay, so we have this in here. We're gonna connect it up to the splitter right here. So we got the splitter. I'm gonna connect this together. There we go. Click, put these inside the box here. Loop them around. And now what we want to do is we want to open up our lavalier mics here. So we have two of them. These are J and K lavaliers. I've read that they're decent. I don't know how decent. They come with a wind cover. So you're going to want to hold on to that um, for later. So we'll save the wind cover. They have a clip which we don't need. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the clip. Hands are too big for this kind of action. We're getting there. Yes, we got it out. No, not yet. Almost. Yes, there it is. Clip is off. Okay, so good news there. So the first one we're going to do here is the this ear here. I push the cord through if possible. Got to get this cord through here. Haven't been able to do that yet. Does it actually fit through this hole? No, it doesn't. Bummer, dude. I need to drill, and we're gonna have to make a bigger hole here. I don't want to mess up the ear, though. All right, well, we got a bigger hole in the ear. Might have to clean this ear when we're done. There we go. Okay, we're making progress here. Okay, cord is in. Success, okay, so we had to make a bit of a bigger hole in the ear to fit that. We want this lavalier mic tucked right in there, just like so. That's perfect. Open that up and we're going to push the cord through on this side as well. I'll clean this box out a little first. It's very messy now. Pieces all over the inside. All right, here we go. We got another cord here. We're just gonna push this through here. 
Hopefully it'll fit just like the other one. There we go. Fits in nice. Wiggle it through. There we go. Bring all the wire in. What we're going to do is get rid of this clip again. Same as the last time. To open this up so we can get the clip out. There we go. Should be out momentarily here. There we go. Clip is off. Just push that off to the side. Keep running the wire through here until we get to the lavalier. The lava ear. Get it? <laughs> Just going to tuck that in there nice. Same as the other one. There, it's tucked in there pretty good. It's not going anywhere. Neither is that one. Tuck it in there good. All right. So now we have all of our cables in here. Lots of garbage, so I'm making a mess here. And what we want to do is we want to clean up these cables a bit. So the first thing we have here is we have our splitter cables, have our microphones connected, and we have this extra wire. So what we're going to want to do is tuck this into the box as so. It's tucked in pretty well. And we're going to take this extra stuff here. We're going to bundle it together. So that it's out of the way. And a little more organized. So we're going to take these twist ties. We're going to just twist them over here. Twist ties, and we're going to twist them up. There we go. So there's a bundle. Put that on like that. So now, in theory, we have this thing done. What we're going to do is we're going to put the case back on. We have our hot shoes. We have everything on here. Now we're going to put the top on. A couple last steps to do here. So we're going to put the case back on. All right. So there it is. Oh, I hear some movement. And it's dirty. Here's what it looks like. We may have to tape everything on the inside in. Here's the final product right here. It's a little dirty. I've got plastic bits on here. We're gonna have to clean off. Um, but as you can see, we've got this done. There's two ears here. We've got hot shoe mounts. We have a cable. Um, it makes a little bit of noise. So I'm gonna probably have to tape this stuff on the inside, I think, but just for the sake of trying it out here. And then the last thing we can do here uh, before we put it away is these noise with these wind covers. We can actually add these to the microphones themselves. So I'm gonna play with that here for a second. Here's the finished product right here. This is the box here. Um, I put the wind covers on top of the microphones here, which I could probably push in a little further if I need to. And for more wind reduction of the actual microphones, um, I also bought these little earmuffs. So these are would be earmuffs you'd use for normal people. Um, I can actually put them on here as well. So we'll do that just for extra wind reduction. So that way when we're out and about, we don't actually hear the sound of everything here. There we go. They're both on. Should go walk through the forest with the leaves right now and like a wind and that's what I want. That's what I want to do with the mic. Mm -hmm. Gonna make the mic. Maybe I can do that this afternoon. Mm -hmm.
All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me stumble around with stuff and try and make something. Um, I think it's pretty cool, actually. For less than 100 bucks, you can have yourself a binaural mic. And I definitely think I'll be able to use this in different situations over the next little while. So, again, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want any of this stuff from the video to make your own, I've listed the parts down below. If you're interested in seeing the original video that I watched uh, to, to do this the first time, I'll link over to Jake's video so you can take a look at it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Chat you later.